from 1023 Church. Well, it's great to be in the presence of the Lord, to be at church together. We're going to praise Him today. We're going to sing another song that we've sang before. It's called Take You at Your Word. Can we actually do that today with our faith and our strength, Lord? We don't have the strength, but you can provide that. So we ask for your strength, your joy, your peace that passes all understanding, Lord. And we look to you as, as our provider, Lord, today, our Savior and our healer. We thank you, Father, for it. In Jesus' name, come on, let's praise together. Amen, amen.
continue to have our faith be stirred this morning as we sing this song. Believe for it. Come on, let's sing it together. They say this mountain can be moved. They say these chains will never With faith, can we sing that one more time, the chorus? Move the immovable, break the unbreakable, God we believe, God we believe on From the impossible, we'll see a miracle, God we
We're going to sing a new song here. And would you just sing it with us? About trusting in God. And that's why we've been talking about faith here today. Would our faith be stirred? Would our trust between you, God, be strengthened? That's probably the hardest thing to do. But Lord, we meet you here as, as we sing this song together. Could you sing it out? It's super simple. Oh, we look you. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He's been my footman in the fire, time after time. Born of His Spirit, washed in His blood, and was. My Savior, the one who will ever fail. He will never fail. Who I trust in God, my Savior. chapter 1 says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. He or she, this is our promise, will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And then at the end of that chapter, it says, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I wanna to talk to two groups of people this morning. Maybe you have had long time obedience. You've been going in the same direction for a long time. But this morning, your heart is feeling discouraged because you're not seeing any answers or it feels that way. Stay planted. 
Stay planted by the rivers of water because this is what it says. You're going to bring forth fruit in its season. Our faithfulness and our obedience is what brings the blessing of God into our lives. And so don't give up. Be faithful in the season. Continue your obedience and pointing your direction, looking forward to Jesus. And then there may be some of us that say, I never feel like I can get on top of this issue I've always got something that is weighing me down I feel so needy and what I want to say to you is are you planted by the rivers of living water have you planted your life in into that soil the rich soil that's next to a water supply could it be that maybe you've planted in the wrong direction or in the wrong soil I am am telling you that this morning there is an opportunity for all of us to plant the seeds of our life into that rich soil that is by the rivers of living water. And the Bible says it will bring forth fruit in our season and our leaf will not wither. We've got a constant supply next to us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you that your word is spirit and it is life. It is grace and it is truth. That your word is a love letter to us, that it speaks to our hearts in the moments that may be hard and we are discouraged or we don't understand why. And yet, God, you are the source. We plant our seed into the soil that is rich with your spirit, Lord, and full of your promise. And Father, we are asking that your Holy Spirit come upon us today. Your Holy Spirit is like the rain. It is the conduit. It is the power to do what we need to do, to not leave the banks of the river, but to plant the seeds, Lord, and they would find that place to dig their roots really deep. And God, when we stay anchored to your word, we can trust. We can trust in God, our Savior, the one who never, ever, ever fails. You know the way of the righteous and it will prosper. So God, we thank you. We thank you for the promise of your word today. You know, there really isn't anything special about the front of the building, but what I will say is it's about our heart, our heart posture and what we're saying to the Lord. And so if you are in those categories or maybe it's something completely different and you just wanna come down to the front and you want someone to pray for you, I'm urging you to do that right now. Come quickly, let's pray together, let's believe God that he's either gonna give us the strength to continue in that long time obedience or he is going to help us to plant the seeds next to the rivers of living water. Prayer partners, come quickly. Come and pray with those that are coming forward. It is our sign of surrender. There is nothing bad about being vulnerable or saying that I need. It's actually really courageous when we're able to make that step and say, God, I need you. And brothers and sisters, I need you. I need someone to come and stand with me in my time of need and pray for me and believe with me that God is able to help me and to strengthen me and to show me the way. And so the worship team is gonna continue to sing this. Let's pray together. Let's plant our seeds deep into the soil of God's word and his blessings. Lord Jesus, I thank you that your promises are true. And God, when we step forward to you, you never leave us hanging. You always come and meet us there. And so Father, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that is here right now. God, you never, ever, ever fail us, and you never change. And so, Lord, we put our hand in yours right now, 
And God, we thank you for the miracle that you're doing in our lives, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, God, that we will be planted and we will not waver because you are the one that never, ever changes. We give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. I know that there's more people that are desperate for God's touch. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't walk through this alone. Isolation is a plan of Satan. He wants to discourage us and he wants to destroy us. But Jesus said, I have come 
I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And he encourages us to do exactly what we're doing together. Do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Come, bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. There are young people up here in the front that are calling out to God. And so I'm asking you, step forward. Don't do life alone. Don't be isolated. Don't let the devil lie to you. That no one understands and everyone will judge you. That is a lie. We love one another. We are here to bear one another's burdens. Come, come quickly. Everyone who needs their heart touched, that needs a friend to hold their hand to pray for them, come quickly. I know you're there. You can trust in God. He loves you and he cares for you. And we care for you. I care for you. I am here with you, standing in the need of prayer. I need God to do a miracle in my life. I need his provision. Don't ever let Satan discourage you or lie to you that you are the only one. You are not. We are here together and we trust in God. Sing that again, Grant. I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. Come and let's pray together. Let's trust in God for the answer. Maybe it's not yet. Maybe it's wait. Maybe it's no. Maybe it's yes. But right now we're going to put our faith and our confidence in Jesus Christ who never fails. Never fails. Sing I sought the Lord and he heard
thank you, Lord Jesus. You have been so good to us. We thank you, Lord, that our hearts can safely trust in you. That you see us, you are here with us, you know us by name. I am so thankful for that. God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit power that we feel here. If we connect ourselves to you, we leave this place different. We leave this place with power. We leave this place with the ability to walk in a different way. Lord Jesus, connected to you. Lord, I pray that the the seeds that have been planted this morning, that the roots would find themselves next to the rivers of living water, that they would go down deep. Help us to think about that, Lord, as we live our lives, that we would stay connected to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit that we feel here. You know, as I'm thinking about the rivers of living water, those, are, those waters are moving. They're not standing still. They're not stagnant. They're fresh. They're moving forward. God is calling us to move forward, to step out into the new can't feel that movement if you're staying in the boat you got to get into the moving water do not be afraid do not be afraid for God has not given us the spirit of fear but he has given us the, the spirit of power he has given us power and a sound mind thank you Jesus and we thank you for your love Lord your unconditional love, it changes everything. We thank you for that, Lord. We receive that today. Seal it upon our hearts. We thank you for this time to draw close to you and to feel you close to us, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Would you put your hands together and give God praise? We affirm that he is here, he is with us, and he sees us. God bless you. Thank you for responding. Thank you for responding. And the one thing I will say to you is, if you find yourself in need, you need support, you've come forward for prayer, seek out the people that were here, myself, someone at guest services. We want to pray with you, pray for you, and continue to bear your burdens together. We're a family. That's part of belonging and becoming to God's family at C3 Church. So we are here for you. And on Wednesday nights, we have a time of prayer. And so if you have a prayer request, I encourage you to write it on the back of our Connect card that says praise and prayer. Turn it into guest services. And I can tell you that there is a body of believers that will lift up those requests with you to the Lord. And we not only lift it up, but we do it in expectation and anticipation that God will answer. Amen. He is faithful. He is faithful. Thank you so much for being at C3 Church today. We are so excited to see each one of you. At this time, we just encourage you to turn around or turn to someone next to you. Introduce yourself if you don't know them. Be friendly. God bless you and welcome to C3 Church.